Dear friends, it's Father Raja speaking to you from the temple of the Queen of the Lilies in San Giorgio Cremano, Naples, Italy. Last Sunday, July 8th, the Holy Father, Benedict XVI, and the Angelus, pray with the faithful at his summer residence in Castel Gandolfo, commented briefly on the Gospel of Mark of the 14th week Franum that speaks of the wonder that Jesus felt for the lack of faith of his countrymen. Then the Holy Father warned about the risk that you can take when you go in search of signs and wonders, forgetting that the most important signs is precisely Jesus Christ, God made man, the greatest miracle of the universe. That's true, isn't it? This is the faith of the Church, a mystical body of Christ, even if this faith is so tested today, especially in the Western postmodern world, from a crisis that is unprecedented history. However, for us, Jesus Christ, the greatest miracle of the universe, remains the Holy Savior, the risen Christ, living in his church, who, with his pure love, will also give everyone the joy of a new life, a life that never ends. In this regard, you know, my friends, there are many cases of people who met the risen Christ and had their lives completely changed by him. By way of example, I want to tell you about a particular experience of the Spanish director Juan Manuel Cotelo, who has traveled the world interviewing some of the converted by Jesus and now is presenting them in a quite original way to the young people in order to achieve what the blessed John Paul II first and Benedict XVI now have called new evangelization. In fact, Juan Manuel Cotelo goes around inviting young people he meets in the squares and streets to climb into his caravan, to watch the interviews made by him and deepen the incredible message of which the converts are carriers. Jesus is risen and we have met him. I also want to remind you the conversions, among many, of three top mothers who met the risen Christ and they rose from a superficial and useless life to a life spent in the evangelization of the young generation. I refer here to Lia Darro from the States, to Amanda Rosa Perez from Colombia, and Anya Goladzinoska from Poland. As regards Italy, I want to remind you how Jesus changed the heart of the actress Claudia Cole of the journalist Paolo Brosio and of the Egyptian journalist Magdi Christian Alam who has left the Islamic religion to embrace the Catholic faith. Conversion is one that really left everyone at loss for words. It was the same Holy Father, Benedict XVI, who baptized him in St. Peter Basilica during the Great Easter Vigil of 2008. Christian Magdia Alam wrote a book entitled Thank You, Jesus, in which he describes his own experience of the risen Christ. The Holy Church, in the person of the Holy Father, Benedict XVI, invites us to deepen our faith and give it to those we meet in our daily lives. The world needs Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And now, my dear friends, I'd like to invite you to risk for a moment our thoughts and our prayers to our only Redeemer, with the words of Mother Lino of Paradise. And you continue to proceed, your brothers and sisters, on the path of love, of incarnate love, or tenderness of the Father. Continue to look for them in the anxiously awaiting of the encounter with you. Continue to look for them at the crossroads of their choices, in the maze of their problems, in the sea of their sorrows. Continue to look for them even when they deny and crucify you because you are love. When you give yourself, give us life. Because your presence, invisible but real, is force transforming the world. It is victory which triumphs over death. It is light which defeats the night. Amen. My dear friends, it's all for now. Ciao and God bless you always.